Thank you. 
your step this today, huh? My name is Twee T. Nguyen. I'm president of Foothill College, and it is my honor and privilege to welcome you to the 57th annual Foothill College Commencement Ceremony. <laughs> to my left, your right, is our Veterans Center, 
and our Veterans Mural, which is just starting to take shape. Here at Foothill, and especially with the July 4th Independence Day coming up, we want to express our value of our independence, our value of freedom and democracy, made only possible through the sacrifices of our country's veterans who put their lives on the line to defend and protect us. At this time, I would like to invite our veteran students who are graduating, along with anyone in the audience who is an active duty service member or veteran of the United States Armed Forces to rise and let us acknowledge you for your service to our country. I would now also like to thank and recognize retiring English professor Doran Robbins, who is guiding us as an honorary marshal this evening. Let's give a hand for our fabulous professor. I would also like to introduce our platform guest. Please help me welcome the Foothill De Anza Community College District Board of Trustees, our board chair, Laura Casas. Peter Landsberger, <laughs> Trustee Gilbert Wong, our 2016-17 student trustee Courtney Cooper, <laughs> and our own chancellor of the Foothill Community College District, Judy Miner. Also on the platform, I'm very, very honored to be working very closely with two individuals. That is Aaron Ortiz, president of the Foothill College Classified Senate. And Carolyn Hallcroft, president of the Foothill Academic Senate. In 1960, Foothill College graduated its first class of 37 students. Tonight, I'm delighted to tell you that the class of 2017 totals 1,156 students, the largest class in recent history. Some of you will be leaving us to continue your education. Some will begin new, rewarding careers. We are incredibly proud of Foothill College students, and we want you to continue to transfer and make uh, Cal State University and UC Santa California and all the private universities throughout the country, make them proud that you are Foothill. I saw some of the mortar boards, especially with our dental hygiene, where it says, yes, they should sit down. I did, forgot to tell them to sit down. Thank you very much. You may sit down. Thank you. Um, yes, so the mortar board, I've noticed with our dental hygiene, it says, don't forget to floss. Please floss daily. I just really, really appreciate it. And the dental hygiene is one of many allied health programs. We are very proud of our graduates who are entering the workforce after completing Foothill's rigorous programs in career and technical education. Those of you who are pursuing health care careers have greatly exceeded the average scores on state and national examinations. I'm just delighted to announce the Foothill Allied Health Program graduates with remarkable passing rate scores. Let's give them a hand. Tonight, I'm rather decorated with all these items on my um, regalia. And these are student clubs and learning communities that are very important to our college. One of the sash is, with, uh, is for the ASFC, the Associated Students of Foothill College. During the course of the year, I had the great fortune to work very closely with the student body, and particularly our student leaders. They have represented the voice of our entire college. This year, due to their advocacy, 
Four times more students voted in our student election, which is believed to be a record for our college. Let's give them a hand. I'm also particularly proud of our student leaders and ASFC because they have come together for our international students and for our undocumented students in support of freedom and equality for all. Let's give them a hand for that. And now at this time, I would like to present and introduce an extraordinary, extraordinary student graduate. She is the student trustee emeritus of the Foothill College, uh, De Anza College, Community College District. But she is also immediate past president of the entire student senate in the entire state of California. That's 113 colleges that she represented. No other Courtney Cooper to introduce our student speaker. Eliana Roberts came to Foothill College after having been homeschooled from, the, from age 10. Tonight, she is graduating with highest honors and will be transferring to Sacramento State's Nursing School this fall. A serious student, Eliana's focus on grades overshadowed her love of learning, so her parents decided homeschooling would give her a reset. She thrived so much that she remained at home until high school. Eliana had several family friends who attended Foothill College, so she decided to enroll and complete prerequisites needed to, needed, to, needed to earn her degree in nursing. It didn't take Eliana long to find her place. She joined the soccer team, enrolled in honors program, and found time to serve as a tutor with the Pass the Torch program. As she reflects on her time at Foothill, Eliana says that the college has illuminated so much for me in terms of the realities people face every day. You can never judge someone based on who they appear to be or how they act. I've been privileged enough to hear many friends and classmates stories and their experiences will always be with, with me. Please welcome our student speaker, Eliana Roberts. To our president, faculty, to our families and friends, and most importantly, to our graduating class of 2017, I want to say thank you for being part of this year's commencement ceremony. Buenas tardes, compañeras de Foothill. Es un honor estar aquí con ustedes para celebrar todo lo que hemos logrado y honor a aquellos que nos han apoyado llegar aquí. Bienvenidos a todos. We all know that today is a day of intense celebration. We students are alive on the last day of finals week. <laughs> In all seriousness, we celebrate tonight to mark our hard-earned success and also to mark our rite of passage Tonight, we are saying goodbye to Foothill and entering the workforce with our AAs or transferring to a university. As the rest of the evening will be focused on us, on that moment when we walk across the stage and proudly take our diploma, I wanted to pause and take a moment and focus on what Foothill has done for us and more personally, what it has done for me. I find it extremely fitting that Foothill is a community college and therefore has the word community concealed in its very name. The student community at Foothill is a thriving one, which is as diverse as it is alive. We are athletes. We are honor students. We are first generation college students like my beloved mom once was. We are international students. We are dreamers. We came to Foothill knowing exactly what we wanted to do with our lives 
or we changed our major four times and have finally made it to this day. <laughs> our community is not one dimensional. Rather, we each bring something unique to this campus. We have students from nearly 80 different countries represented at Foothill and students from every walk of life. This diversity fosters an environment of learning and a spirit of inquiry that supersedes the classroom on this campus. Through the friendships we form here with those whose life stories are not like ours, Foothill students are challenging previously held stereotypes and taking part in intercultural dialogues that are vital not only to our professional careers, but to the responsibility we hold to our polarized and fragmented nation and world. While the student community at Foothill College is diverse, there is a label that can be applied to nearly every single one of us. Almost all of us are non-traditional students. Whether we went to secondary school in another country, are returning students, or had to defer our dream college as high school seniors, many would label our edu educational journeys as alternative. When I first started at Foothill two and a half years ago as a non-traditional student, I for one had no idea what to expect. I became a Foothill College student in what should have been halfway through my junior year of high school, just two weeks after my 17th birthday. I had been homeschooled since I was 10, something my family and I had only planned to do for a year to give me the opportunity to fall in love with the learning process again. It worked, but I also fell in love with homeschooling, so we kept doing it. Rather than success or failure being determined by a grade on my transcript while I was homeschooled, it was determined on whether I truly understood what I was learning. After realizing that I wanted to become a nurse and that taking my prerequisites at a community college was the smartest option, I never imagined that my time as a non-traditional student with a hunger and drive for education would be useful once I started at Foothill in winter quarter 2015. I will say this was the first and last time I was ever excited for winter quarter to start. <laughs> for me, my first day here represented so much more than my first day of college because it was my first day of middle school my first day of high school, and then my first day of college all in one day. To say I was nervous was an understatement. And a story that demonstrates just how nervous I was begins when I parked down in lot two that early morning in January. Although I had driven to Foothill just that past weekend and practiced walking to my classroom from different parking lots, <laughs> the anxiety I felt just overwhelmed my practice trip. So. I started walking against traffic down College Loop. There, I was on the sidewalk, but still you'd think I would have realized. So I was walking along and a faculty member found me and she said, hey, you look like you're kind of lost. I said, yes, I know I'm lost. Please help me. She went on and walked out of her way to take me to main campus. And when I still had no idea where my classroom was, she pointed to the building, looked me in the eyes, and said, you are going to do fine. Beyond demonstrating my nerves that first day, this story demonstrates how the faculty of Foothill transforms the lives of its students. You guide us from a place of uncertainty and doubt, take us to a place of familiarity, and then point us in the right direction for the future and tell us we will make it. Can we please just take a moment to thank the incredible faculty we have here at Foothill College. So many of us would not be here today without your support. And please never lose sight of how you're changing the lives of students. So since that excitement and nervousness of that first day, I have experienced some disillusionment with school, 8 a.m. classes being one of them. <laughs> and, I have and, and I have encountered many road bumps. My first quarter, I took statistics. And for the first time in my life, my own internal resources failed me. I couldn't do it by myself. So with the advice of my professor, 
I started getting tutoring at Pass the Torch in the STEM Center, which not only helped me to excel in statistics, but it taught me something more important. It taught me how to believe in myself and my abilities without reservation, which is iterated much more eloquently in a quote that has become very important to me during my time here. At any given moment, you have the power to say, this is not how the story is going to end. At Foothill, I learned that only we have the power to dictate the direction of our lives because only we have the ability to change our perception from a situation from permanent to something that's malleable. It's not always easy. Whether it was after a huge mistake on the soccer field where I was representing my school for the first time in my life, whether it was lying completely catatonic on my living room floor after looking at the study guide for a microbiology exam, <laughs> or whether I was trying to remember how to write comprehensive essays for my honors classes after spending so much time in science lab. I have despaired and doubted and wanted to give up. But here I am. Here we are. We made it because we looked our adversities in the face and said, this is not how our story is going to end. With this ability to persevere in the face of adversity and to believe in ourselves paired with our commitment to understanding other cultures and ways of life unlike our own, I truly believe the impact of this graduating class will be unprecedented. I just hope the world's ready for us. Felicidades, clase de 2017, perdón. Continúen con su pasión y disciplina que los ha ayudado a conseguir este logro. De ahora en adelante, todo es posible. Si se pudo. Congratulations, Foothill Class of 2017. Thank you. and congratulations, Eliana. English instructor Scott Langford grew up in Colorado and, in, and attended an inner city public high school with a majority African American population, a school which he still considers to be the best he ever attended. After graduation, he moved east and earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in philosophy from Williams College. Shortly after earning his master's degree at Stanford University, Scott joined Foothill College and began teaching courses in college writing, American literature, creative writing, and a number of honors seminars. Never content to stay only in the classroom, Scott co-founded the Cultural Diversity Center and the Student Gay Straight Alliance. Earlier this year, he and his students wrote and published the first Foothill Global Citizen magazine an online magazine focused on climate change issues. Scott has also authored several award-winning books, including Tahoe Beneath the Surface, The Hidden History of the World's Largest Mountain Lake, which won a Nature Book of the Year medal from Forward Magazine in 2010. Please welcome our faculty speaker, Dr. Scott Lankford. All right, colleagues, family, friends, and especially graduates, speaking as your official children's literature instructor, my class actually begins on Monday in that one. <laughs> I plan to present a series of fast, fun, and fascinating, challenging riddles, and then I'll be done. But before I begin, I want to reassure you that all of these riddles are the exact opposite of childish. And that, like any good graduation speech, they have everything in the world to do with your past, your present, your future here at Foothill College and on this beautiful spinning blue planet that we all inhabit together. And with all the ancient magic that brings us and binds us here together in this place today. Which brings me to riddle number one. 
So lean in and listen up and riddle me this, graduates. Why are we all wearing these funny robes? Why am I standing here dressed like Gandalf or Dumbledore? <laughs> I do love my robes, by the way. But more to the point, what are you graduates doing wearing identical unisex black <laughs> gowns with, medieval, with the medieval equivalent of an iPad stapled to your heads? <laughs> here, I must confess that I myself did not fully understand the answer to this question until I suddenly and magically, and thank you Foothill College, found myself teaching Foothill Campus Abroad in Italy approximately two years ago. I was standing at the center of the Western world's oldest continuously existing university, the University of Bologna, founded in the astounding year of 1088. 1088, that's nearly 1,000 years ago. And like any good Californian, I pulled out of my pocket my handy dandy iPhone supercomputer made in Cupertino, California, <laughs> to find out more about this university that I was visiting. And what I found out astounded me. Because what I found out is that this first and oldest of all the universities in the Western world more about the iPhone later, I have to put it here. This first and oldest university in all the Western world was founded by immigrants and outsiders and outcasts. Recall that on the Italian peninsula in the year 1088 or so, immigrants from across the Mediterranean basin were pouring into the newly wealthy city states like Bologna including Jews, Muslims, Europeans of every tribe and nation. Yet much like today's immigrants, they found themselves politically oppressed, socially repressed, dismissed, and often deported, shut out from all the existing institutions of higher learning in Europe at that time, which were, at that time, reserved solely for priests and princes, their equivalent of the 1%. So as a community of scholars and outsiders and immigrants united by oppression, they pooled their resources, hired their own professors, and founded what is still today the oldest continuing university on earth. And that, graduates, is precisely why we are, well, we are wearing these splendid medieval robes. For note, carefully, that the robes we wear contain no mark or symbol of any one religion, of any one economic or social class, or any one nation, or any one language, or any one culture. There are no crosses, no crescents, no stars of David, no crowns, no flags, no insignias of inherited wealth. Instead, they signify our membership in a radically universal open access community of scholars that is 1,000 years old a 1,000-year-old community college, one might say. Now, as my history colleagues are fainting from my hyperbole, let me quickly move on <laughs> to the history of this particular community college. Riddle me this, graduates. What does Foothill College have to do with iPads, Apples, and iPhones? Some of you may know the answer, but I'm always astounded by how many of us don't. The answer is that in, 19, in the 1960s, the orphan son of a Syrian immigrant found himself growing up with his adopted family in the city of Los Altos, just a couple miles right over there, right down the road, literally. This particular Syrian refugee orphan's name was Steve Jobs. You might recognize that name. At nearby Homestead High School, he met and befriended the son of Polish immigrants whose last name was Wozniak, or Woz for short. After dropping out of Berkeley and Reed, those fancy places, both of these Steves started taking computer classes in their spare time at a brand new community college just down the freeway from us named De Anza. A college, I might add, with all due deference to our dear sister college, founded by Foothill College faculty, staff, and administrators <laughs> in 1967. They are now supporting their 50th, their, their 50th anniversary. Which is why the largest and most successful company in America is headquartered in Cupertino, California, the home of De Anza College, and why the first ever 
Macintosh computer was launched in 1984 from the stage of Flint Center, a building not coincidentally named after the very first president of Foothill College, Calvin Flint. In fact, Foothill's presidents, I have several with me here today, Foothill's presidents have virtually all been social pioneers, including our former president, Bernadine Fong, who became the first female Asian American college president in California and probably the nation in 1994, followed by our former chancellor, Leo Chavez, who was among the first Latino scholars to hold that honor in the nation, followed by our interim Foothill president, Penny Pates, who in 2000 before became, 2004 became the first openly lesbian college president in the United States, followed by our current chancellor and former president. Where did she go? There she is. Turn this way, Scott. Judy Minor, herself the daughter of immigrant parents from Guam and Guadalajara, and the first in her family to attend college. She's proudly wearing that button. And of course, our new fabulous current college president, Tui Nguyen, who became the first Vietnamese American college president in the nation this year. And is also the first in her family to go to college, so there's some non-traditional students for you. In fact, it was Foothill that helped pioneer the whole concept of a community college. Eliana, thank you so much for referencing that. We started out as a junior college, and that has a wonderful tradition. But we pioneered the idea of a college for the whole community, for lifelong learners, not just a K through 12 to K14 extension of high school. That's been the vision here at this place from the beginning. And that meant so much more access for so many more people. Foothill, for example, for years and years had a larger population of disabled students on our campus than were all at, at all at Berkeley at the University of California more here than there. Foothill, was, Foothill offered some of the nation's first online classes back when the internet was the new thing, right? Um, including the first online LGBT lit class on earth taught by me exactly 20 years ago and then taught again this year. That was the first one on the globe. Not to mention the first community college district to offer domestic partner health benefits to LGBT employees in an era when only Stanford and Yale in all of American higher education had the guts and the vision to honor their own commitment to equality and to equity. Go Foothill. All right, now your turn because generations of Foothill College students have changed the world too and you are among them now. I'll name just a few. They include my own former student, Sally Lieber, the first female speaker pro tem of the California Assembly, Wayne Wang, who was the first Asian American director in, in, uh, in America to make it big in Hollywood. They really knew how to use their super powers. It's your turn now. And let's not fail to mention the other superpowered graduates at other California community colleges up and down the state, including such Hollywood superstars as Tom Hanks and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes, the governator, that was him. Good for you, California. Did I, did I mention James Dean, Morgan Freeman, Queen Latifah? Woo! Woo! Or for you English majors near and dear to my heart, how about Ernst Gaines, who literally picked cotton in the fields until the age 10? went to Solano Community College and went on to become one of the most celebrated African-American writers of the 20th century. Or for you STEM bio majors, how about a Navy veteran turned community college beginning biology student named Craig Venter, who got his degree as AA at CSM, College of San Mateo, just up the road, and then went on to lead the team that first sequenced the hu human genome and then founded Genentech, the 21st century's other most disruptive and transformative company alongside Apple, both of them founded by community college students. It's not bad, this magic, huh? All right, so this all leads us back to that original riddle. What force of fate or magic or destiny summons us here? and binds us together. And look at us. How did Hindus and Muslims, Jews and Gentiles, Catholics and Protestants, Buddhists and Baha'i, Sikhs and Jains, pantheists and pagans, 
atheists and agnostics, old and young, rich and poor, black and white, brown, yellow, red, and rainbow, straight and gay, lesbian and bisexual, transgender, gender fluid, asexual, and gender non-binary, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, eighth, seventh, I got out of order, sorry math colleagues, <laughs> generation immigrants, as well as the sons and daughters of Native American tribal members who have be been on this continent for at least 10,000 years. How did we all come together at this precise moment on this precise campus under this beautiful blue sky on this precise day in this pivotal year in our history? And now, of course, since you have solved the riddles, you know the answer. It is the robes that we wear and the legacy we share, and the dreams that we dare to dream together. These are 1,000-year-old superhero robes that you are wearing. And they confer upon you not just a mere college degree, but quite literally superpowers. <laughs> there is more magic I mean this from the heart. There is more magic and transformative power on this campus than Hogwarts can possibly wave a wand at, or that Xavier's School for Gifted Children can possibly squeeze into that X mansion, even if Professor X is at the lectern and not me. You'll need all those superpowers and many more to take on the looming planetary threats of climate change and global warming and the rising tide of renewed ethnic and religious and political and environmental violence they bring in their wake. We are all going to need you, and you are going to need your powers. The good news is that for the last 50 years, California has been the number one global leader in environmental restoration. And it has to, under your leadership, remain so now. Those blue skies above us were not always blue. When this college was founded, the Bay Area skies, like LA's, were a toxic cloud of smog. That beautiful blue bay was a sewer and it stank because they poured raw sewage and untreated industrial waste into it. Today those waters now once again teem with huge breaching whales. Have you seen this on the news? The whales are back in the bay. And those whales were on the brink of extinction when this campus, uh, campus opened in 1960. And if you look in those coast range mountains back there, right, that stretch up and down the state, you will find condors and cougar, cougars and bald eagles, which again were on the brink of extinction when this campus was opened. We all together with our superpowers in California made that happen. It is a powerful success story and we've got to keep telling it to ourselves because as climate fiction guru Dan Bloom reminds us, we become the stories that we tell ourselves. So today Ho Foothill hosts the largest solar array in Silicon Valley in Long Two. The roofs of our eco-friendly buildings behind me are covered with deep and beautiful insulating layer of native plants. Our STEM and bio and business and social science and fine arts and humanities and kinesthetics faculty are deeply engaged in seeking urgent and effective responses to the growing scourge of global warming and climate change. All the super tools that you need to take on this battle are here right now within your reach. So please learn to use them. Don't leave them behind with your rented robes when you leave this campus for the very last time. Okay, I'll end with some borrowed words of wisdom which are also themselves something of a riddle. And some of you have heard these words I had myself attributed to Nelson Mandela and they easily could be. But interestingly enough, they turn out to be from someone much less famous which is appropriate to the words themselves. They're from a Jewish American peace activist, anti-poverty activist, and AIDS activist named Marianne Williamson. She writes as follows, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? 
your playing small doesn't serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And, and as we let our own light shine, we subconsciously give other people permission to do the same. And we're liberated from our own fear. Our presence automatically liberates others. So finding your superpowers, I will hasten to add, can help others find theirs. Thank you so much, students, for helping me find mine, which you have done for me year after year, and for which I am eternally grateful. And now, with the scarlet cardinal powers vested in me, <laughs> I hereby deem you not fake guardians of the universe playing at tragedy in some plexiglass, fiberglass castle in Universal City with fake flames. I hereby name you guardians of the planet. Standing Rock water protectors. Last time I checked, this is the only one we have. Let's keep it, let's cherish it, and I welcome your help in doing so. Thank you very much. One more time for Professor Scott Langford and student graduate Ileana Roberts. You know, there's a life question that is often asked. Is the glass half empty or is the glass half full? Half empty, half full. My response, take that glass, half empty, half full, and pour it in a cup, and it's my cup runneth over. My cup runneth over. I have more than my fill in life. And that's the secret ingredient to life, to always be grateful. Gratitude is an important quality in life, and there are so many people to thank today for your success. Graduates, I ask you to stand up. Stand up. I want you to look in the crowd. Find your mothers, your fathers, your sisters, your brothers, your spouses, your partners and friends, and maybe even some animals too. And give them a round of applause for what they have done for you. My cup runneth over. Thank you very much. You may be seated. And since I particularly did not ask our faculty and staff to sit down, I will do the opposite and ask them to stand up. So if the faculty and staff would rise, you are the heart and soul of Foothill College. Graduates, please help me thank them. And now you may sit down. Thank you. <laughs> Our faculty and staff are passionate, putting their heart and soul into your learning, your success. For many of us, education is our calling. Surely education is my calling. This is my first commencement as president of Foothill College. And the journey for me has been long, a long one, literally. My parents and I fled Vietnam when I was three years old. Our small, rickety fishing boat drifted in the Pacific Ocean for 25 days. The door that was open to me and my family was the door to the schoolhouse. It was education that gave me the opportunity to improve my social and economic status. I am a first gen. That means both of my parents did not graduate from college. I am the first generation in my family history to have a college degree. 
This is why I wear this button, the first, to represent being first gen. Many of our faculty and staff at Foothill College are also first gen. And more than 25% of Foothill College students are first gen. If you are a first gen college student, would you please stand up and I ask our faculty and staff, if you are also first gen, would you please stand up? Let's recognize our first gen. In only a few moments, graduates, you will be called to the stage to receive your diploma. And for some of you who are first gen, you will be changing the family history, your family history, its trajectory, you will be making history. Every graduate here today has a story to tell, and I hope you will also find a way to leave your own mark in, on this world. As Professor Scott Langford said, that robe you are wearing gives you superpowers, and so make history of that superpower. I am looking at our beautiful library, right in front of me, behind you. On the windows in the front of the library are quotes from famous people who made their own history. One of them is the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. As I think about the words to leave you with, there is no better one than the words that come from the walls and buildings of Foothill College itself. The Reverend Dr. King, in his civil rights struggle to save the soul of America, he spoke to a group of college students and said these very words that are on the library windows. And if you know them, I want you to chant it to yourself. If you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. These were the words that he gave for the political struggle of our time, but it is also the word of our personal struggles. So class of 2017, you are exceptional. You are flying. And no matter what happens out there, keep moving forward. Congratulations. It is now my pleasure to announce the recipients of the Foothill College President's Medal, the highest scholastic honor bestowed annually by this college. It is a recognition of students who have most clearly demonstrated academic achievement in all college work applicable to a degree program at Foothill College. Tonight, I am pleased to announce that there are seven recipients of the President's Medal, three of whom are with us today. Uh, when I call your name, please come forward, and Professor Carolyn Hofcroft will be assisting me. They are David Dawson Bowman, English for Transfer. There he is. Our student speaker, Eliana Roberts, Spanish. <laughs> Ren Yi Wan, Mathematics for Transfer. Uh. 
Each winner will receive a scholarship in addition to the President's Medal. Please refer to tonight's program for our names of additional scholarship recipients and the visionary donors who have made these scholarship possible. Uh, I must tell you, Foothill is very blessed to have so many people support Foothill financially. So please refer to that and please, let's give all our scholarship winners a big round of applause. Okay, you ready? You ready? I would now like to invite Dr. Carolyn, uh, Carolyn Halfcroft, President of the Academic Senate, to officially certify the class of 2017. Dr. Holcroft. <laughs> Graduates, please stand. On behalf of the faculty of the college, I certify that the candidates before you and those in the official commencement program have to this date satisfactorily completed the requirements for the Foothill College Associates in Arts degree, Associate in Arts degree for transfer, Associate in Science degree, or Associate in Science degree for transfer. Board President Casas, members of the board, families and guests, Chancellor Minot, it is with great honor and pleasure that I present to you the class of 2017. Thank you, graduates. You may be seated now. And now we will begin awarding our diplomas. with our Dean, uh, Kurt Hewick, who will call his division. Folks, we ready to recognize some graduates tonight? My name's Kurt Hewig. I'm the Dean of the Business and Social Sciences Division. It's my pleasure to represent our faculty and recognize our, our graduates tonight. Please come forward. Ben Barraclough, Psychology, Dean's List. Oh, thank you. Sabine Baltus Brentz. Psychology Dean's List. Elsa Gustafson, AA in Economics, Dean's List and Honor Scholar. Nayeli Mag Maganya Garcia, Sociology AA Degree, Dean's List and Honor Scholar. Alexandria Catherine Bowl. Two degrees, one in business administration, and um, what was the other one? So, uh, social science general studies, thank you. Christopher Paulson, associate for transfer in business administration and scholar athlete. Jennifer Lopez Magana, associate for transfer in psychology. Scott Kerberg, uh, Apprenticeship Program, Plumbing Technology. <laughs> Paula Teresa Pereira Lopez, AA in Accounting. 
Graciela Sharon, Associate for Science Degree in Business Administration, Associate for Transfer. <laughs> Paimon Pushnarod, Associate in Arts in uh, Political Science, Associate for Transfer. Dean's List, Honor Scholar. <laughs> Victoria Hunter, Associate for Transfer in Psychology. Jason Hill, Associate in Science, Social Science, General Studies. Caitlin Smith, AA, General Studies, Social Science, Dean List and Honor Scholar. Tania Cesares, Associate in Arts and Psychology. Lucia Nguyen Nguyen, Associate in Arts and Social Science, General Studies. Viviana Rueda, Associate for Transfer in Psychology. Yeah. Veronica Solis, Associate Degree in Anthropology, Dean's List. Yeah. Karen Salgado, Associate for Transfer in Psychology, Dean's List. Sociology, Dean's List. Lydia Vasquez, AA and Associate Degree in Transfer in Psychology, Dean's List. Chantal Medrano, Associate and Associate for Transfer in Psychology and Sociology. Matthew Deeroff, Associate Degree in Social Science General Studies. Liam May, Associate in Arts and Business Administration, Dean's List. <laughs> Credencia Wintergast, Associate in Arts and Associate for Transfer in Psychology, Dean's List. <laughs> Cynthia Serrano, Associate for Transfer in Psychology, Dean's List. Christine Cortez, Associate and Associate for Transfer in Sociology and Psychology. <laughs> Ashley Michaels, Associate Degree in Psychology. <laughs> Estefania Cristina Palmera Ortiz, Associate for Science and Early Childhood Education. Essence Johnson, Associate Degree for Transfer, Sociology. Lyra Nevifon, Associate for Transfer and Child Development, Dean's List. William Mankey, Associate Degree in Child Development. Miranda Reguelo, Associate Degree for Transfer in Early Childhood Education, Dean's List. <laughs> Ella Ballenas, Associate Degree for Transfer, Economics and Business Administration. <laughs> Jocelyn Figueroa, Associate Degree for Transfer in Sociology. Yumi Lee Ramirez, Associate Degree for Transfer, Psychology and Communications. Monica Skupchu, Associate Degree in Transfer for Business Administration. Sarah Paulson Havelo, Associate Degree in Transfer, Psychology. Mariela Rodriguez, Associate Degree in Business Administration. Lisa Santoro, Associate Degree for Transfer, Psychology. All right, Philip Eberhertz, Associate Degree in Anthropology. Marisa Reynoso, Associate in Arts and Psychology. <laughs> Katharina Latu, Associate Degree in for Transfer, Sociology. <laughs> Ma 
Marla Ibarra Megay, I'm sorry, Magoy, Associate Degree in Social Science General Studies. <laughs> Kay Reed Brutseth, Associate Degree for Transfer Economics. <laughs> Igor Karpovskov, Associate Degree for Transfer Business Administration. <laughs> Stephen Likidi Makanyi, Associate Degree in, for Transfer Business Administration and Economics and Dean's List. Legos Young, Associate Degree for Transfer, Psychology, Dean's List. Lamara Neeson, Pablo de Browner, Associate Degree for Transfer, Psychology, Dean's List. Donahi Espiti, Espitia Lopez, Associate Degree for Transfer, Business Administration, Dean's List. Anna Herrera, Associate Degree for Transfer, Psychology and Child Development, Dean's List. Alejandra Perez Ceballos, Associate Degree in Transfer, Business Administration. Maria Irena Mendoza, Associate Degree for Transfer, Sociology and Psychology. Richard Guerrero, Associate Degree in Transfer Psychology. <laughs> Brian Go, Associate Degree in Transfer Psychology. <laughs> Ryan George Amari, Associate Degree General Studies Social Science, Dean's List. <laughs> Carlos Rodriguez Morales, Associate Degree for Transfer Economics, Dean's List and Honor Scholar. Nancy Nguyen, Associate Degree for Transfer Psychology. I need water up here. Nicholas Elias, Associate Degree for Transfer Psychology, Dean's List. Dana Burley, Associate Degree in Arts, Sociology, Dean's List. <laughs> Lucia Zendejas, Associate Degree for Transfer Psychology. <laughs> Berenice Alonso, Associate in Arts, General Studies, Social Science. Christine Tang, Associate Degree for Transfer, Psychology, Dean's List. Vashon Strauss, Associate Degree for Transfer, Business Administration. Jamie Bourne, Associate in Arts, Psychology, Dean's List. Ashley London, Associate in Arts, Social Science General Studies, Dean's List. <laughs> Tatiana Bufin, Associate in Arts in Child Development and Associate Degree for Transfer. <laughs> Marcella Sedan, Associate in Arts, Child Development, Dean's List. Monica Ontiveros, Associate in Arts, Child Development, Dean's List. <laughs> Diana Martinez, Associate Degree for Transfer, Business Administration. <laughs> Lemoy Nicholas, Associate Degree for Transfer, Business Administration, and Social Science General Studies. <laughs> Stephanie Landa, Associate Degree in General Studies, Social Science. <laughs> Yellen Du, Associate in Arts and Accounting, Dean's List. <laughs> okay. 
Jocelyn Gonzalez, Associate Degree for Transfer Sociology. Ariande Cal Caldwell, Associate Degree for Transfer, Business Administration. <laughs> Bianca Ruiz, Associate in Arts and Associate in Transfer and Child Development. <laughs> Crystal Mendoza, Associate in Arts, Social Science, General Studies. Alicia Stephanie Cortez, Associate in Early Child Development. <laughs> Sabina Weedmer, Associate Degree for Transfer, Business Administration. <laughs> Chanel Macabante, Associate Degree for Transfer, Psychology, Dean's List. Sarah Urate, Associate Degree for Transfer, Psychology, Dean's List. <laughs> Sandra Rodriguez, Associate Degree for Transfer, Psychology, Dean's List. Armando Brambila, Associate Degree for Transfer in Social Science General Studies and Mechanical Engineering. Havelin Riviera, Rivera, Associate Degree in Arts for Anthropology, Psychology, and Social Science General Studies, and Dean's List. <laughs> Madison Martin, Associate Degree for Transfer in Sociology, Psychology, and Social Science General Studies. <laughs> Dean's List, sorry. <laughs> Robert Barragan, Associate Degree in Arts, General Studies, Scholar Athlete. Nima Nezami, Associate Degree in Transfer Psychology. <laughs> Kyra Enright Jose, I'm sorry, Kira Enright Jose, Associate Degree for Transfer Psychology. <laughs> Wilma Rowena, Associate in Arts and Accounting. Brandon Cochran, Business Administration, Associate Degree for Transfer. <laughs> Emily Shante Markman, Associate Degree in Transfer, Anthropology. <laughs> Yesenia Hernandez, Associate Degree for Transfer, Psychology. Tina Svedland, Associate in Arts and Psychology. <laughs> Sasha Kutumakal, Associate in Arts, Social Science, Dean's List, and Honor Scholar. <laughs> Mohammed Kreshhash, Associate in Transfer, <laughs> Economics, Dean's List, and Honor Scholar. Alma Madriz, Associate Degree for Transfer, Psychology. Yeah. Christina Moreno, Associate Degree for Transfer, Anthropology. <laughs> Latrish Ross, Associate Degree in Transfer, Psychology, Sociology, Communications, and Social Science General Studies. Milena Kwafkatoska, Associate Degree in Science, Psychology, Dean's List. <laughs> Marcella Mission, Associate Degree in Psychology, Honor Scholar. <laughs> Lisa James, Associate in Arts and Transfer, Psychology. Crystal Cuchieri, Associate Degree for Transfer, Business Administration. <laughs> Brianna Jane Turk, Associate in Arts and Anthropology, Dean's List, Honor Scholar. 
Mona T. Aboud, Associate in Arts, Anthropology, Political Science, Dean's List, and Honor Scholar. Zohair Khan, Associate Degree for Transfer, Anthropology, Dean's List. Ramon Mendoza, Associate in Transfer, Psychology, Honor Scholar. Jose Diaz, Associate Degree for Transfer, Sociology. Tina Oliva, Associate Degree for Transfer, Political Science, Dean's List, Honor Scholar. Adonis Bill, Associate in Science, Business Administration. Ana Cristancho, Associate Degree for Transfer, Political Science, Dean's List, and Honor Scholar. Jiha Lu, Associate Degree in Transfer, Economics, Dean's List. Yingling Lu, Law, I'm sorry, Associate in Arts and Associate for Transfer and Economics, Dean's List. Jachun Cho, Associate Degree for Transfer, Economics, Dean's List. Cody Boy, Associate Degree for Transfer, Business Administration. Ashley O'Bren, Abro, I'm sorry, Associate Degree for Transfer, Psychology, Dean's List. Kaylin Rose Doctorello, Doctorello, Associate in Science Psychology. <laughs> tu Roon Chigarapati, Associate in Science, Social Sciences. <laughs> Bertie Cannon, Associate Degree in Transfer, Early Childhood Development, <laughs> Dean's List. Yi Ruin Wang, Associate Degree for Transfer, Psychology, Dean's List, and Honor Scholar. Mike G, Associate in Arts and Political Science, Dean's List, and Honor Scholar. Ethan Lowe, Associate in Transfer, Psychology, Dean's List, Honor Scholar. Ori Shadman, Associate in Arts, Economics. And our last graduate, are we now? Not yet. Uh, Christian Garcia, Associate Degree in Transfer, History. And that does it for Business and Social Sciences. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Congratulations, graduates and families. It's my honor to present the graduates from the Biological and Health Sciences Division. Matt Parsi, Associate in Arts, Respiratory Therapy, Dean's List, Honors Scholar. Anna Yu, Associate in Science, Respiratory Therapy, Dean's List. Estelle Ebrahimi, Associate in Science, Respiratory Therapy. Parminder Bahad, Associate in Science, Respiratory Therapy, Dean's List. Fong T. Wang, Associate in Science, Dean's List, Honor Scholar. Christian Gonzalez, 
Associate in Science, Respiratory Therapy. Tan Nguyen, Associate in Science, Respiratory Therapy, Psychology, Accounting, General Science, and Social Studies, Dean's List. <laughs> Linda Ahrens, Associate in Science, Respiratory Therapy. <laughs> Aisha Shah, Associate in Science, Dean List. Mikhail Kaleja, Associate in Science, Respiratory Therapy, Transfer Scholarship. <laughs> Angelica May Quizan Umilia, Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, Science, Pharmacy Technology and Liberal Arts AA. <laughs> Jamie Christine Lim, Associate in Science, Pharmacy Technology. These are my people, biology. <laughs> Ramsha Rahman, Biological Sciences, Associate in Science for Transfer, Dean's List. <laughs> Ryan Pham, Associate in Science, Biological Sciences, Dean's List. <laughs> Tatiana Grechukina, Associate in Science, Biological Sciences, Dean's List. Ava Zamani, Associate in Science for Transfer, Biology, Honors Scholar. Jared Olay, Associate in Science for Transfer, Biology. Michaela Fajardi, Fajardo, Associate in Science for Transfer. Christina Achiepo, Associate in Science for Transfer, Associate Degree in General Sciences. We have a few of the graduates in Environmental and Horticulture and Design here today. The rest have really good excuses. Alex Godoy. Associate of Science, Environmental Horticulture and Design, Dean's List. <laughs> Jeannie Scott, Associate of Science, Environmental Horticulture and Design, Dean's List, an Honor Scholar. Tim Dyer, Associate of Science, Environmental Horticulture, Dean's List, highest honors, and a veteran. He assured me it wasn't the Civil War. Good evening. I'm proud to announce the graduates of the Dental Hygiene Program. Darlene Gloria, Associate in Science and Dental Hygiene, Dean's List. Colette Fontaine, Associate of Science and Dental Hygiene, Dean's List. Sonia Sanchez, Associate of Science and Dental Hygiene, Dean's List. Maria Chu, Associate of Science and Dental Hygiene, Dean's List. Yodit Berhani, Associate of Science and Dental Hygiene, Dean's List. <laughs> Hannah Grace Matthews, Associate of Science and Dental Hygiene, Dean's List, Honors. <laughs> Carlin Cashelou, Associate of Science and Dental Hygiene, Dean's List, Honors. <laughs> Kim Nguyen, Associate of Science and Dental Hygiene, Dean's List. <laughs> Young Pham, Associate of Science and Dental Hygiene, Dean's List, Honors. 
Laura Kim, Associate of Science and Dental Hygiene, Dean's List. <laughs> Connie Louie, Associate of Science and Dental Hygiene, Dean's List, Honors. <laughs> Lynn Nikki B, Associate of Science and Dental Hygiene, Dean's List, Honors. <laughs> Melly Melanie Katukan, Associate of Science and Dental Hygiene, Dean's List. <laughs> Catherine Paulino, Associate of Science and Dental Hygiene, Dean's List. <laughs> Teresa Cho, Associate of Science and Dental Hygiene, Dean's List. <laughs> Carmelin Pagiao. Associate of Science and Dental Hygiene, Dean's List. <laughs> Lorna Adriano, Associate of Science and Dental Hygiene, Dean's List. <laughs> Michelle Wynn, Associate of Science and Dental Hygiene, Dean's List. <laughs> Ashley Davis, Associate of Science and Dental Hygiene, Dean's List. Jillian Shalonga, Associate of Science and Dental Hygiene, Dean's List. <laughs> Alicia Prevost, Associate of Science and Dental Hygiene, Dean's List. <laughs> Charmaine Reyes, Associate of Science and Dental Hygiene, Dean's List, Honors. Good evening, I'm Kara Miyasaki, Program Director for Dental Assisting. Lydia Prockman, AS Degree, Dental Assisting, Dean's List. <laughs> Rainice Bendet, Associate in Science, Dental Assisting, Dean's List. <laughs> Crystal Garcia, Associate's Degree, Dental Assisting, and she's expecting her baby today. Hannah Bernstein, Dental Assisting, Dean's List. Christy Ilio, Associates in Science, Dental Assisting. Neil Farr Hashman, Dental Assisting. <laughs> Lena Tran, Associates in Science, Dental Assisting. Good evening, my name is Rochelle Campbell. I'm the program director for the Radiologic Technology Program. <laughs> Nicole Draper, Associates in Science, Radiologic Technology, Dean's List, First Gen. <laughs> Monica Cabral, Associate in Science, Radiologic Technology, Dean's List, First Gen. Alicia Church, Associate in Science, Radiologic Technology, Dean's List. <laughs> Justin Hua, Associate in Science, Radiologic Technology, Dean's List. <laughs> Rose Arbizu, Associate in Science, Radiologic Technology, Dean's List. Rick Lee, Associate in Science, Radiologic Technology, Dean's List. <laughs> Farah Mohammed, Associate in Science, Radiologic Technology, Dean's List. Second generation Radiologic Technology graduate. <laughs> Brian Nguyen, Associate in Science, Radiologic Technology, Dean's List. Hello, I'm Dr. Lisa Ashman, Program Director for Veterinary Technology, and I'm proud to announce our graduates. 
Maria Boyenton, Associate in Science, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. <laughs> Diana Liu, Associates in Science, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List, First Gen. <laughs> Jennifer Bo Yeti Chun, Associate in Science, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. Yesenia Mendez, Associate in Science, Veterinary Technology. <laughs> Angela Garlic Fries Wiles, Associate in Science, Veterinary Technology, First Gen. <laughs> Madeleine Anna Carlson, Associate in Science, Veterinary Technology. Inta Maelit. Utan Min Famil, Dean's List. <laughs> Katrina Arabia Sanchez, Hashtag Legacy, Associate in Science, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. <laughs> Krista Yi Carlson, Associate in Science, <laughs> Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. <laughs> Jacqueline Richard, Associate in Science, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List, First Generation. <laughs> Kayla Wolfer, Associate in Science, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. <laughs> Krista Kalampong, Associate in Science, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. <laughs> Liliet Alves, Associate in Science, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. <laughs> Madison Chalk, Associate in Science, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. <laughs> Virginia Carter, Associate in Science, Veterinary Technology. Brianna Mariah Del Rio, Associate in Science, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. <laughs> Katie Murphy, Associate in Science, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. <laughs> David Wagner, Associate in Science, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. Caroline Polanco, Associate in Science, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. <laughs> Elizabeth Catherine James Menrath, Associate in Science, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. <laughs> Sarah Reynolds, Associate in Science, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. Calvair Rye, Associate in Science, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. <laughs> Luisa Teresa Garcia, Associate in Science, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. <laughs> Gina Elizabeth Vargas, Associate in Science, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. Alyssa Michiko Gavidia, Associate in Science, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. <laughs> Jessica Leanne Browning, Associate in Science, Veterinary Technology, Dean's List. I'm Simon Pennington, uh, Dean of Fine Arts and Communications at Kinesiology and Athletics. And it is my distinct honor to announce the graduates this evening. Um, our first graduate is Courtney Lorraine Cooper, AA for Transfer Communication Studies. Tyler Magpuri. Associate in Arts, Graphic and Interactive Design, Dean's List. Yeah. 
William Orock, Associate in Arts, Theatre, Arts, Dean's List, Honours Scholar. Stoney Tan, Associate in Arts for Transfer, Theatre Arts, Dean's List. <laughs> Kede Komatsuzaki, Theatre Arts, Dean's List. <laughs> Aileen Valencia, Associate in Arts, Dean's List. Peter Spolstra, Associates in Arts, Theatre Arts, Dean's List. <laughs> Wesley Soriano, Associates in Arts for Transfer, Art History. <laughs> Andre Jimenez, Jr., Associates in Arts, Associates in Arts for Transfer, Communication Studies, Dean's List. Shruti Venkatesh, Associates in Arts for Transfer, Communication Studies, Dean's List, Honours Scholar. <laughs> Salome Banjo, Associates in Arts, Communication Studies, Dean's List. Uh, Valère Ossier, Associates in Arts, Communication, General Science. Eric Carlos, Associates in Arts, Music Technology, Dean's List. Anthony Fimbres, Graphic and Interactive Design, Associates in Arts. Andre Gustafsson, Associates in Arts, Graphic Design, Dean's List. Francois Radas, Associates in Arts, Graphic and Interactive Design. Clara Faligon, Associates in Arts, Associates in Arts for Transfer, Communication Studies, Dean's List. Tashi Tseiten, Associates in Arts for Transfer, Graphic and Interactive Design. Oyuki Via, Associates in Arts, Communication Studies. Kimberly Sojadi, Associates in Arts, Communication Studies, Dean's List. Kyung Xin Huang, Associates in Arts, Art, Illustration, Dean's List. <laughs> Christiana Palmieri, Associates in Arts, Art, Ceramics, Dean's List. <laughs> Fabiola Panis Mirolo, Associates in Arts for Transfer, Music Technology. Walter Saltos, Associates in Arts, Associates in Arts for Transfer, Communication Studies. Sean Kramer, Associates in Arts, Technical Theatre. Yan Jabari, Associates in Arts for Transfer, Communication Studies, Dean's List. Kyle Bell, Associates in Arts, Associates in Arts for Transfer, Communication Studies. Blue Tafuli, Associates in Science for Transfer, excuse me, Associates in Arts for Transfer, Communication, Dean's List. Nicole Miller, Associates in Art, Communication Studies.
Zulema Lisbeth Garibo Gonzalez, Associates in Arts for Transfer, Communication Studies, Dean's List, and First Generation. Sarah Alfaro, Associates in Arts, Associates in Arts for Transfer, Communication Studies, Philosophy, and First Generation Student. Reka Arnold, Associates in Arts, Art, Dean's List. Ricardo Igareda, Associates in Arts, Music Technology and Music. Orion Marshall, Associates in Arts for Transfer, Communication Studies, Dean's List. Tessa Kirin Morosky Cheng. Associates in Arts for Transfer, Associates in Arts, Art History and Illustration, Dean's List and Honours Scholar. <laughs> Fabiola Ramirez Quevedo, Associates in Arts for Transfer, Communication Studies. <laughs> Kirby Patterson. Associates in Arts for Transfer, Communication Studies, Dean's List. Congratulations. <laughs> Katie Gomez Escobar, Associates in Arts for Transfer, Communication Studies. <laughs> Carmen Diaz, Associates in Arts for Transfer, Communication Studies, Dean's List. Sandra Hernandez, Associates in Arts for Transfer, Communication Studies, Dean's List. <laughs> Rene Peña, Associates in Arts for Transfer, Graphic and Interactive Design, Dean's List. <laughs> Travis Fukada, Associates in Arts for Transfer, Studio Recording and Music Technology, Dean's List. And now we move on to the Kinesiology and Athletics Division. Karim Fawal, Associates in Science for Transfer, Kinesiology. Brendan Doyle Alvarez, Associates in Science, Athletic Training. Juan Alvarez, Associate in Arts for Transfer, Kinesiology, Dean's List. Sebastian McGriff, Associate in Art for Transfer, Kinesiology. Michaela Liston, Associate in Arts for Transfer, Kinesiology and Psychology. Mary Kwon, Associates in Arts for Transfer, Kinesiology, Dean's List. Good evening, my name is Paul Starr and I am presenting the graduates in the Language Arts Division. Marjorie Cartwright, English Associates for Transfer. Jonathan Woolsey, English, Associate of Arts degree. <laughs> Alyssa Mendoza, English, Associate for Transfer. <laughs> Gabrielle Legaspi, English, Associate of Arts for Transfer. <laughs> David Dawson Bowman, Associate of Arts for Transfer, English. Aracela Figueroa, Associate of Arts, Spanish, Social Science. 
Suzanne Rickman, Associate of Art for Transfer Spanish, que bueno! Eliana Roberts, Associate of Arts, Spanish, nursing major, Dean's List, Honor Scholar, and Scholar Athlete. Good evening, I'm Jeff Anderson from Math. I'm presenting PSME, last but not least. Samantha Ruiz. Uh, Associate of Science in General Sciences, and she's on the Dean's List. Pauline Fiona Germo, uh, she has an Associate of Science, and a large crowd behind her, Chemistry, Biological Sciences. Then we have Carolyn Ho, she has Associate of Science in General Studies and Science, she's on the Dean's List. Nathan Ho, he has Associates of Science in Mathematics. Yeah! Dean's List. <laughs> Sinica Abasekara. She has an Associate of Science in Engineering. Amazing. <laughs> Matthew Ishii, who has an Associate of Science for Transfer and Computer Science. <laughs> Wang Kai Gu who has an Associate of Science for Transfer in Computer Science, and he's on the Dean's List. <laughs> Nai Nagasaki, who has Associate of Science in Computer Science, and she's on the Dean's List. <laughs> Rossetti Saena, who has Associate of Science for Transfer in Mathematics, and he's on the Dean's List. <laughs> Raquel Okan, who has Associate of Science in Radiology, Anatoly Kuznets Goldberg, who has Associate of Science in Radiology and General Science, uh, he's on the Dean's List as well. <laughs> Derek Salas, who has Associate of Science as a General Electrician, and he's on his Dean's List. <laughs> Oscar Ramirez has Associate of Science for Transfer in Computer Science. <laughs> Alessandra Beresievich has Associate of Science in Computer Science, and she's on the Dean's List. Yeah, Delgado. Danny Delgado has Associate of Science and Associate of Science for Transfer in Engineering and Physics. Double dipping. <laughs> Atif Velagic has Associate of Science for Transfer in Cognitive Science. He's on the Dean's List, and he's an honor scholar. Rosalind Axtell has Associate of Science and Associate of Science of Transfer, Computer Science and Math. Yeah, Math. Dean's List. <laughs> Aldo Sanchez Perez has Associate of Science in General Studies, Science. <laughs> Wang Ren Yi has Associate of Science for Transfer in Math. He's on the Dean's List. <laughs> Lai Wa Tang has Associate of Arts and Associate of Arts for Transfer in Psychology. Dan Darrell Alvarez has Associate of Science in General so Studies Science, and he's an Honor Scholar. Mahanur, Mahanur Akhtur has an Associate of Science degree in General Studies Science. And last but definitely not least, we have Kim Bowman, who has Associate of, uh, of Science in General Science Shepard and all the staff who put the graduation together, Let's give them a hand. There you, go. you know, you, you picked up a diploma when you came through the stage, but I apparently picked up a lay too. 
Thank you to the graduate who gave me the lay. Family and friends, have your camera ready. Graduates, please stand. Graduates, you may now complete the commencement tradition by moving your tassel from right to left. You know, you all look so amazing. You are just picture perfect. Can I take a picture of you? How about if I take a selfie of you and tweet it out? What do you think? Okay, all right, you ready? You ready? All right. Now turn and face the crowd, look to her for your parents and thank them, your family members, thank them. <laughs> to honor our graduates, Foothill faculty and staff will now form the corridor of honor. This ceremonial formation applauds the accomplishments of our graduates as well as the futures that you're about to explore. Please be seated. And we will have the faculty and staff lead off to form the Corridor of Honor. After the Corridor of Honor is formed and you hear the music, the processional music, you can come out through the Corridor of Honor. Family, friends, graduates, please join us in a reception afterwards. 2017, I'm so proud of you. Yeah!
Thank <laughs> you.